This is Augusta Ali podcast this week. We'll be reviewing all of AEW, includes AEW Elevation, Dark, and Dynamite in on this Thursday morning. Let's start with AEW Elevation. Here's about episode nine. Episode nine, AEW Dark Elevation. It managed to feature a familiar face in a mix to match Jay Cardell. Eddie Kingston, a message for the Young Bucks, Thunder Rosa, using a new finisher, John Mox to say loose violently finals for his IWGP heavyweight title defense. My, in the most curious development elevation, MJS Lord is recruiting Jay Cargill. She has been cutting promos on Diamond explaining that managers must bring it big if they want to represent the center. After Cargill's win, Mark Sterling approached the ring, requesting a moment of Cargill's time. He wanted to offer his manager services. Sterling made MJ the highest paid athlete in AEW. He thinks he could do the same for Cargill. During Quest and Mean backstage, Cargill appeared to be accepted to the pitch. Mm-hmm. Elevation also has several promos throughout Eddie King's to offer a message to the young bucks. The Jackson boys are getting under his skin. It makes him sick that they join Kenny Omega Don Cos when times that top. Cos is a big carding piece of shit. Kingston ever seen. Kingston proceeds to strip his clothes, challenge the Bucks to rip out his heart. Then we got Dr. Brick Breaker promoting her title shot against Hikaru Shida, double or nothing on May 30th. We have Thunder Rosa using a new Peruvian choke submission finisher for a victory and elevation. Alex Marvez inquired by the maneuver. Rosa has been new, learning new holes in MMA training to expand her offensive and personal. Rosa chronically banking her on her title shot against Shida. Waiting for the winner, Rosa has her eye on regaining AEW Women's Champion from Junior D to become double champion. Scopey Scott, Ethan Page has shown great chemistry for during their winning history. Left the house, uh, he'll hook, sting, and hop Page to Darby Allen down the stairs. Mm. Alright, here's the results of, of Elevation. Lee Johnson defeated David Ali. Eddie Kingston defeated VSK. Fuse that still Van Beck lost to Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. Where the Paul White interviewing Damian Limelight. Thunder Rosa defeated Michelle Michelle. Chuck Taylor defeated Barry Morales. Leah Hirsch defeated Danny Jordan. Matt Seidel defeated Manny Smith. Kay Cargill defeated Rika Tika, a Samoan chick. Dean Alexander, Dylan McQueen lost to Matt Hart and Mark Quinn. Dr. Britt Breaker destroyed Rachel Rose. It was a squash match. Randy Kagoski versus Ty Conti. Conti won. Jurassic Express versus Chaos Project. Express won. Mm-hmm. Isaiah Cassidy versus Alex Reynolds. Isaiah Cassidy won. We got John Moxley versus Dami Limelight. Moxley got the win. And the main event was most of the fun of the bunch. I recommend checking out Limelight's chat with White prior to viewing Moxley wrestled like a maniac. He preferred a, a rooting interest to see Limelight do well. Cassidy and Reynolds continue Artie's feud with the Dark Order. He actually was fighting the contest. The opener was Ali and Johnson is arguably the best match on the show. Thunder Rosa, Hirsch, and Conti had strong performances as well. So that was AEW Dark Elevation. We will do AEW right about now. Okay, here is AEW Dark. Episode 88 of AEW Dark featuring Max Caster comparing back ties with Sunny Kiss and new Valid for Dusty Blonde, Diamond picking the feud with Chris Stanley and Brian Cage at a Rowdy House fight. The top mode from Dark was Mass Caster's rap. The acclaim made their way to the ring and face off with Sunny Kid, Joey Janela. Caster rapped by a famous Sunny Day reference and used the Boondock reference to make the outrageous claim he has a better derriere than Kiss. Hey yo, Sunny, what you say? Let's keep it old school. We have we can have Sunny Days. On second dot, I'll think I'll pass. You're not that cute. You got I got a better ass. Booty, booty, butt, booty, butt cheeks. The match itself was very good. Better than I expected. I give a thumbs up recommendation for Watch Yourself. In the bout, Ty turned with Anthony Bones to help Janelle off the, off the ropes, crashing down the stage. Janelle's knee took damage. The claim worked Janelle over focus on the knee. Even Janelle escaped, to escape by counter airplane spin to a DDT. Led to a hot tag by Kiss. So you can have a split stutter to cast her. Kiss swallowed Bowens with a rolling elbow. Tap back to Janelle for a flying elbow drop. But Janelle collapsed on turbo due to his ginger knee. Bowens used a grounded cold submission and Janelle to rush the knee. Kiss was able to break the hole. The match continued with Janelle and Caster hit, posing eye elbow drops on, on Bowens and Kiss. 
Double close on everyone down on the mat. The acclaim preserved in the end. They took out Kiss. Bowens locked in another ground and cover leap on Canella. Cats are connected on a flying elbow drop, but Janela was still in the submission. This was enough for a winning hidden victory to the acclaimed. Mm-hmm. So, okay, that was it. Now, here are the results of Dark. Janelle Maxley, Eddie Kingston defeated Milk Chocolate. Evil Uno uh, of the Dark Order defeated Cole Carter, Andrew Palace, and Spencer Slade. Lance Archer defeated Angel Fashion. QT Marshall, Nick Camarado, Arrow Solo versus Nelly Lagan, Ryza, and Rick Raker. Like, the Factory defeated them. It was a squash. Varsity Blondes versus James Balin and Draven Jordan. This was a showcase. They had a new valet. Willow Nightingale versus Diamet. Diamet won. Dan Martin. Jay Martin defeated Aaron Fry. Nia Rose defeated Ashley Ambrose. Ambrose. Ryan Meff, Cesar Bonan defeated Liam Gray. Adrian Ellis. Chris Sandler defeated Julia Hart. Marty Cass lost to Jungle Boy. Big Swallow Red Velvet defeated Ben K. Twins. Ten and Danny Drake in a competitive match. Ten got the victory. The acclaimed defeated Sonny Kiss, Joey Janela. Brian Cage versus Brian Bonson. Like, Brian Cage won. Mike Sidell versus Will Hobbs. Hobbs won. Here's my take. The acclaimed and the Kiss and Janela are the promo pick of the bunch. Not behind in terms of entertainment. It's the Haas fight between Cage and Bronson. That Haas Jim was tiddling. Cassius and Jungle Boy had a rousing affair. Moxley and Kingston Diamond, Swole, Vela, and Haas were other matches that tickled my fancy. So that was my review of AEW York. Right now, we're going to be reviewing Dynamite, so stick around about now. Alright, let's get to AEW Dynamite. Let's start with the opening match Moxley versus Yuji Nagata. Here's the match update. Moxley wins the match. There was no post-match brawl. There was a sign of respect between the two competitors. We had the AEW Tag Team Champion, the, the Bucks versus the Young, the Young Bucks versus SCU. Young Bucks win, and SCU are are no more. We had Pack versus Orange Cassidy. This was a a double countout. So, so now we got a triple threat match at Double or Nothing for the AEW World Title. Thunder Rosa versus Jasmine Allure. Thunder Rosa got the victory. And we had the main event, TNT Championship, Darby Allen versus Miro. Miro won the match. At the match, this was a brawl. And Miro's our new TNT Champion. One title change. Alright, let's talk about more about Dynamite. Marvez is their inner circle. It's my members. My asked what's next. Ortiz says Pinnacle got Santino arrested for using the fork in the match. Hager said we told you, you got to kill us or stop us. He said they want another match. Cyber said they're not going to stop him unless they get another match. They'll turn tonight's coronation to a funeral. Cody's here for a big announcement. The pyro is off the charts for whatever reason. Cody is still using the shit ass new version of his theme. I guess it's not going away. Cody said he knows Patriots outside. He said we all live in a real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says he's wearing a red, white, blue, just like Jacksonville, United States. Oh, God. We're going to have ourselves a USA versus foreign heel. Oh, my God. He says he's never been proud to be an American. Anthony Ogo, he says he's run down and buried the U.S. He says irony is that Anthony gets paid in U.S. dollars, has the U.S. fields, gets all the rights. Cody said our arguments was, makes us what we are. He says our empathy outweighs our anger. He says Anthony didn't come here to live the England dream. He said A6, willingness to release a song called Living the Promised Land. I cap sing when you hit me with a punch. He said the dream lives here. He talks about Shaka Khan inventing car parts and helped you give birth to AEW. Cody talks about segregation. He said in 2021, his wife will give birth to a beautiful white, beautiful black princess who can live with her identity she lives. He says we're fighting at double or nothing. He said double or nothing. We're going back to full pass. Kappa City. Thank God says it will be Anthony Ogogo versus not the American Nightmare, but the American Dream Cody Rhodes for one night only. 
We got a package with SCU about their rivalry friendship with the Bucks. Chris A. Fields with Trey Hurt. Cass A. They're going to be influenced by a bunch of teenagers. By the cool guys, the only thing left to do is beat you up. Cass A. The ain't. breakup angle was a story mandated by the promotion. This was a challenge they come up on our own. Chris says, how far everyone thinks they'll go to get what they want. After CU loses, we go to Bass State. Eddie and Mox are destroying the Elite's dressing room. Seemingly upset there about this loss. Eddie tells Mox to blow it up. Dasha is back with Christian. Dasha said you had issues with Taz. Christian said Taz explained Christian's moves make you much mess as giving a play by day. Taz at the buffet. Christian talks about the Christian about a royal. He said he'll be in it. He'll go to win it. Seidel, Eric Robinson. Christian says he hopefully this year he'll get a better few. Matt said he got a match book with him for next week. Don and Kenny pull a fuck you and knocked out Pac. OC they fucked up, so it's double cut out. Don said, yeah, we have a night on. Tony says, well, actually, we had told that there will be a world title match. There will be a triple threat match. OC and Pac will face you at double or nothing. Kenny and Don are pissed, but there's nothing they can do. Kenny says they're going back to Winnipeg. We're in the elite locker room. They mad someone trashed it. Gallus said Max Eddie did this. Max not t- Nick talk about being SCU. Matt said they didn't even bat an eye. Next week we're going to fight the varsity blondes, number contenders. And oh, you wanna be like your daddy? You wanna tie ball too? Matt said Eddie, what you doing for Dunning the Night? Challenge they challenge him for the belts. So this is gonna be Eddie and Moxley versus the young bucks that double or nothing. Marvez with Paige and Ortiz. My best with Paige and Arc Order, I mean. My best says how it feels to be number five now. Paige said it was bound to happen. You know, it took a million dudes to do it. I said he's not sure it was really Brian Cage that did it more than Taz giving instruction. He told Brian to lead Team Taz and fight him one on one. He said for you, it's double or nothing. MJ comes out across some babes. They had a little highlight from the Blood and Guts. They. MJ talks some shit about Jericho's spy and his crown. He's called the Demo God. He's going to be called the greatest of all time. Then he saw the Inner Central coming out with a with an alcohol sparing the special with alcohol. And it led to a setup match in a stadium stampede and double or nothing. So basically, the Inner Circle loses. The Inner Circle are forced to break up. Eh, take it or leave it. JR with Bet Baker, they talk about what happened earlier before the Dynamite, about the Forest Magazine, Britt, Shea had a fight. So basically, it's going to be about Britt Baker trying to get a revenge on Shea for breaking Britt's nose. Yeah, it's most like that. We had a Mark Stewart segment date on Elevation Plays. Tony asked Shea what's going to handle the business, said she will. She is going to listen to the offer, but she ain't saying anything yet. We got we got a video with Darby Allen. Someone asked me when's dish not being thrown on stairs. And then he says like coming here reminds him of who he is, even as a dumb. Darby said Mir was talking about glass scenes when he showed out. He's been playing video games, being best man. He said the whole world is gonna be what you like when Leaf saw. Do you know you know who you are? Listen to me, you generic son of a bitch. He says, You're not taking this belt off of me. You're gonna have to admit the toughest man you ever fought. Mero defeated Darby Allen for the TV title. After that, Pace, Guy, Dark Or, Lantern, all coming for some action. It was like a brawl. So, that ends Dynamite with a big brawl. So, I give Dynamite a good show. It's a very good show. You can watch anytime you want. So, I'll see you all next week. And for an AEW review, bye.